Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Shoustool. This is the second video. We will make a simple block and a icon for that block and get it into the game. So I'm going to jump right into things because this is going to be a somewhat long video. So jump into Blender. Here you see I have a block selected already that has some different colors on it. When you look at it, I have this white material here, which is called Default 1. I have this dark gray material here, which is called Default 2. And then this blue texture here, which I have called Emissive 0. So the goal here is that the white is going to be a regular recolorable texture. The dark gray is going to be a half as bright recolorable texture. And then the emissive is going to be a color that is always seen in the game, regardless of light level. So I suggest naming your materials default for the various ones, unless you want to name them something specific. Some materials need to be named a specific name, but for this purpose, we're just going to go with emissive zero for now, because that's all it needs to be. If you've watched your Blender tutorial videos, you'll know how to UV map your object. There's a very simple method, which you press U and Smart UV Project, and then just press OK. And then you should end up with some kind of mess of stuff in your UV image editor. Next is one of the most important steps of using Blender for making models for space engineers. This is where you click New, make the name UV, generated type UV grid, and 32 bit. Click OK, and you should end up with this large white and dark gray grid with a bunch of colorful pluses all over it. If you don't have that, then you messed up somewhere. And I suggest you go back and check it out. If you don't do this, your image will most likely be white, but it could be black as well. Okay, so you have your UV image. You have your mesh with the materials on it. And now you want to export it. So go ahead and press File, Export, FBX. And I'm exporting it into a specific folder where I put all my FBXs for the first time. Go ahead and change the version of the FBX to ASCII. The game does not like using binary FBX from Blender, so I suggest changing it to ASCII so you can actually build the MWM. Go ahead and click Selected Objects, because we only want to export our cube. Click Mesh, and Shift-click empties, leave apply modifiers on, and click animation to turn that off. Go ahead and click the plus, name it something like Space Engineers, and click OK. That way you have a preset to go to in case you want to do things quickly. So up here you see the name of the FBX is going to be SC underscore tutorial, tutorial cube. So go ahead and export that, and go to where you exported it. You should see a FBX there. I want you to open this up in Notepad++, because there is a very important bit of information in here. If it looks like this, where it's a bunch of text, you've exported, exported it properly as a ASCII FBX. So I want you to do something, and that is press Control F, bring up the Find menu, and I want you to look for Material, colon, colon, and click Find All in Current Document. You should end up with a few entries. There should be three entries for every one material. In here, you can see I have three entries for Default 1, Default 2, and Emissive 0, and then them repeated below. You also notice that I have a underscore underscore UV 
at the end of all of my materials. If you're exporting a material with Blender, you need to make sure that they all have this. If they don't, then you messed up somewhere, and when you look at the model in game, it might crash, or it will be a black portion of the model. So next, I want you to open up the Find menu again, go over to Replace, and change Find What to underscore underscore UV, and have Replace with Empty, and Replace All in the document. If you go back to Find, and look for Material colon colon again, and Find All in Current Document, you should have underscore underscore UV go away from all of your materials. Alright, now this FBX is good for building an MWM with, so go ahead and save that. Open up your tutorial area, grab the FBX, and now you want to go to your Space Engineers folder, go into the Tools, Go into the large folder I had you make, and paste the FBX there. You'll notice that I have a XML there, so go ahead and create one of those, the same name as your FBX. And when you make one, this one, for example, is looking something like this. Here you can see that it's centered false. This is usual if you properly export your FBX. Here you can see rescale factor is 1 if that is if you built your model properly in Blender you'll see that rescale factor should be 1 if you built it in Max or Maya it might be 0 0.01 if it is 0 0.01 with a properly scaled model in Blender you end up with a really teeny tiny model in Space Engineers so go ahead and check that if you have a model that's not showing up. Next you can see I have three material name entries. One is named default1, one. one is named default2, and the other is emissive0. On default1, you can see that the specular intensity is 0, specular power is 2, and it's the same for the other two. On default 1, the diffuse colors are 255. This is a 0 out of 255 scale. So 255 is the brightest it can be. In default 2, you notice it is half. So in game, the recolorable texture should appear as half as bright as default 1. Emissive 0 has the diffuse color set to 255 because I want it to be the color of the emissive texture I've given it. The texture for default 1 and 2 is SC Basic ME. This is a basic recolorable texture that is just a flat color without any normal map. And it pretty much makes things really easy and simple for me. Next you'll see that the texture for the emissive 0 is SC Emissive Yellow. And this is very important because the texture in Blender, if you remember, is blue. So it should show up yellow in game because the material colors and options in your 3D modeling program don't matter, as I said before. All that matters is the material name. Alright, so once you have your XML built up, go ahead and save it. And now you should be ready to build your first MWM. So go ahead and back up in the Tools folder, click mwmbuilder.exe. You should have a black window flash up, and then go into the Large folder. You should see a file by the name of whatever your FBX and XML was. In this example, it is sc underscore tutorial cube, and it is an MWM file. If you do not have this, your FBX or XML might be messed up, and we'll cover that later in a future tutorial. I want you to go ahead and cut the sc tutorial cube file, and I want you to go to your app data space engineers 
folder. If you see, I have the log file and mods and saves and screenshots, all that here. Go in the mod folder. I made a new folder named Mod Shellcorp Tutorial. Go ahead and go in there. Here you can see that I have a thumb, textures, models, data, and the data folder. I'm at cubeblocks, SBC, transparent materials SBC. But we want to put that MWM somewhere, so go into the models, cubes, large folder. Go ahead and paste that right down. Next, you need to make sure that the MWM is actually added to the game somehow. And that's where that cubeblocks SBC file comes into play. You can go ahead and make one. I'll probably add a few example MW or uh, cubeblock SBCs for you. This one will probably be included in a zip file in the description, so you have all the information there already. Here you can see the XML version definitions that is referenced up here it is closed all the way down here and then you can see cube blocks which is then closed right here and then you can see our definition and then you can see the block positions right now i just want you to make a definition we won't make a a block position because that's not currently necessary as it will auto place your block in the block menu. So first things first, you want the type ID to be a cube block because it's just a simple armor block. The subtype ID is up to you. I suggest that if it's a large block, you preface it with large, unders large underscore and then the name of the block. For example, is SC Tutorial Cube. Then you have the display name as it shows up in the block menu. I have it SC Tutorial Cube. I'm not making an icon for this tutorial video as it's already running fairly long. And then you have the cube size. This is for which grid it fits on. It fits onto a large grid. If it was a small grid, it would just say small there. The block topology is the type of mesh or building method that the game uses to add the block to the game. For most purposes, you're going to be using triangle mesh. There is a cube type that is used for armor blocks that makes them deformable. Next, you'll see the size. X, Y, Z are all one as it's a one by one by one block. This is the size of the bounding box and not the block itself. Here you can see that there's no model offset because my model is properly centered in Blender. Next you can see that I have my model referenced in the models cubes large folder that I took you to put your MWM at. Next the components are one steel plate and the critical component is a steel plate. So you require a steel plate to start the block, and then the components are the rest of the components that are used to build the block. Next you see the block pair name. This is what's referenced in the block positions, but we're not adding one of those, so this doesn't quite matter. I suggest naming it anyways. Next you can see the edge type. I believe this is the edges that show up on armor blocks, how they have the light colored ones and then the dark colored ones for heavy armor blocks. Next you have the build time for five seconds and then you close off the definition with slash definition. And that's all you should need for the cube block to have a simple functioning block that has nothing special about it. So that should pretty much cover that there. So we talked about building FBX we put it into the MWM builder. We put it into the proper folder inside the mod folder, which was models, cubes, large. And then we built our cubeblocks.sbc. And we pretty much have everything done. And now all that's left to do is to test the block. So go ahead and open up Space Engineers. 
I'll do a tutorial video later on doing the icons, as sometimes it can be a little bit tricky depending on how you want it set up. And there's a lot that can go into it. It'll probably be a very short video. I'll also possibly include a plugin for Blender that allows you to automatically export to the DDS format for icons. Alright, so Blender's open. Create a new world, custom world. Go ahead and throw it on creative, go to the mods folder, and here you can see a bunch of folders with their name. You want to look for the folder you made, which is a mod shell corp tutorial here. Go ahead and move that over to the active mods, click OK, OK, and the world should start. I'll also cover the building of HKTs later, but that requires one of three programs. The two that I can always remember the name of is Maya and Max. The other one I can't recall the name ever for some reason, but those are three programs that you can use for building your HKT. You can get a student version of Max and Maya on their site. The only stipulation really is that you can't make money off of the models that you make. But you're able to use their program freely for I think it is three years. So instead of paying the several thousand dollars for Max or Maya, you're able to use them for free for a little while. There are other alternatives as well, but I can't exactly discuss those. Alright, so we're in the game. We need to go and place our block. So remember how I said we didn't make an icon? You're not going to see it in here unless you mouse over to the topmost, leftmost empty spot. And here you can see there's the SC Tutorial Cube. So go ahead and right click that. And now we have the block selected as you can see our hand at the lower right. Go ahead and mouse over and you should have a block pop up. Here you can see that the block is in the game. It has the yellow emissive as defined in the XML. It is not blue and it is not green because it doesn't combine the colors. You can see that the interior area is a darker gray. And when you open up the menu to recolor it, now it's a dark red on the inside as well. So pretty much that covers getting your first basic block into the game. Usually when I exit Space Engineers, I just press Alt F4. Alright, so that pretty much covers everything for this video. That was a really quick, really simplified version of getting a block into the game. Hopefully that answers a lot of people's questions, but we'll figure out from there if anybody needs more in-depth information and exactly what I should be covering in future videos. Uh, your feedback is always appreciated. I always appreciate Patreon subscribers as it helps me help you. And even a $1 or $5 donation every month goes a long way. If you're able to, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. I'll see you in the next video.